Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Uh, yeah, so, uh, last episode I only noticed while uh, looking through the uh, recorded video that the uh, screen resolution kind of had changed back and forth. It also happened in one of the uh, Shipyard Champions uh, episodes. I don't know why the game does that. Uh, see, 1920 times 1080. That's what I want it to be, but sometimes it just uh, resets to something else. So I'm gonna try and uh, notice if it happens again. So I can quickly reset it. So uh, do we want to start off with the DDs or no? We want to start off with the convoy. That's what we want to do. We are defending a convoy of five transports, a two of the Mercats class battle cruisers, and a couple of DDs uh, versus this uh, task force here, led by an Indiana class battleship. Some of the very expensive and capable heavy cruisers, a couple of lights, and a bunch of DDs. John King became DDG3. Okay. That's a name. Let's fight. Alright. Uh, I want you to go in uh, line ahead. Uh, the two DDs. Mmm. I guess you can just follow the transports for now. That way I keep them close to the transports, so if I need to um, to hide my convoy in, um, in a smoke screen, I have the DDs right there. That's more or less the uh, best use I can come up with for for the DDs in this battle. So we spotted the enemy. We are firing at 50 kilometers. Almost 50. They are closing in. And we lost sight. Presumably because uh, it's hiding in DD or light cruiser smoke. I think I'm just gonna have my uh, battle cruisers try and solo this. They are ridiculously fast, so I don't think they're gonna take a lot of hits, if any. But of course, running out of ammunition is a, uh, a possibility. Like so, perhaps. I think that could work. That's a thumbnail. So 
So 36 kilometers now. Our chance to hit is not terrible and we just hit something. Let's focus on these two. I think they are heavy cruisers. I'm gonna see how many we can sink. We are firing HE. Go with AP. There we go. Disappeared in smoke, so it was probably a light cruiser. Well, it had to be. And these must be the heavies. Back to auto now. Let's deal with these two first because they're uh, kind of closing in. Uh, Atlanta class? Yeah, probably. Don't look like they've got torpedoes. And yeah, if they are Atlantic class, then HE is not a bad choice. Because the Atlantic class does not have a lot of armor. Eighteen kilometers. Yeah, we should be able to pen that with HE, and we just did. Target one each. There we go. That might be the end of that guy. And that's the end of that guy. So, one light cruiser down. And we are kiting all of them away from the convoy, which is obviously a good thing. probably speed up here. Uh, these do not have that much armor, so uh, taking too many hits from that battleship is probably not healthy. Yeah, not much armor. <laughs> That's what you get.
for not having much armor. Sink this guy too, and then uh, then I'm just gonna force AP. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now, so I don't run out of AT, which I might need to deal with the DDs. Yeah, that guy's flooding. Actually, let's uh, take on that battleship. No, that's the battleship. Okay. Well, that is something else. Amazing. My battle cruisers are actually cheaper than some of these American heavy cruisers. Not those two specifically, but I know they have some uh, some classes that are north of uh, 300 million. What kind of armor did you have? Uh, decent, actually. It's just really slow. Let's uh, take on the heavy cruisers first. That battleship is really too slow to do much of anything. Yeah, that's one of the expensive ones. 290. of course does not make it a better ship than my uh, Mercats class battlecruisers but uh, I mean when you have an economy like the United States has in this campaign then the cost is really no limit there we go that should sink it Eastland. Actually, Overstein, you can uh, target um, Anacostia. I'll slow down for some of that cruise speed bonus. East line is already taking uh, a bit of punishment. What kind of torpedoes do you guys have? 19 inch, 15.9, 23, 16.6, .6. Gen 1 radar, Krupp 3. I mean, I would not pay 290 million for that. Oh, you're running out of ammo? There we go, 
getting that flooding. But it's constantly punishing the uh, the Overstein. Not really punishing as such, but uh, certainly annoying. Conning tower damaged. Now it's out of ammo. And I've spent more than half of mine already. Of course, I don't want to get closer to this on account of those torpedoes. Well, I guess I can't get closer. Uh, didn't have that much of a torpedo range. Okay, guns off, it's sinking. Conserve ammo. Let's find something else to sink. with my remaining shells, like for example the Lamberton. What kind of deck armor do you have? 11. What kind of deck pen do I have? I had 40 kilometers. 13. Just keep shooting that ship. Yeah, 30 kilometers. That's the uh, sweet spot with regards to uh, deck penetration for these guns. Got 15.6s, so bigger guns than mine. There we go. And the battleship is hidden in smoke. There she is. So yeah, 42 inches of deck pen. At right, 30 kilometers. Should be enough. Stop switching targets. Is perfect, 30.4. Flash fires, yes. 
Very good. So it no longer has any ammo. But it's still afloat, and I would like to sink it. There we go, some flooding. Sadly, the flash fire didn't spread, it just took out all the ammo. And also, sadly, I'm... Uh, <laughs> Pretty much out of ammo myself. At least my shells did not explode aboard my ships. That's uh, that's something. And we whack a uh, DD with the remaining uh, 80 shells. Oh yes, we can. <laughs> Valen still has uh, 30 rounds remaining. Is that a DD, perhaps? And one more salvo. Oh, partial pen. Okay, one more shell. Turn into three shells, apparently. Okay, I think my convoy is safe. That's the end battle button. Which we just have to do because there's no uh, no ammo left. Yeah, Mark 514s. <laughs> Very good rate of fire. Three heavy cruisers, two lights, and a DD. And that battleship is not operational for quite some time. Although, if it does get <laughs> dragged into a battle next turn, the game will just decide that all, all that damage was just random structural damage, and it might even have some of its ammo left uh, back for having been supplied. Because um, component damage apparently does not get saved between uh, battles. Yeah, I like these battle cruisers.
Let's see what's going on in Africa. 15%, 6%, 0%. Is my army logistics uh, crap or something? No, it's 100%. If so, then I wonder why... Well, okay, they've got the numbers. And this one probably uh, started later. Um, let's see. No, we cannot do a naval invasion. What I want to do is, I want to just start, initiate a naval invasion of Croatia. Which, um, I cannot actually complete because I don't have that kind of tonnage in the Mediterranean. But it's gonna stay active for, like, four maybe five months and as long as it is active uh, there can be no peace with uh, Austria Hungary that's one way to uh, extend a war uh, this one I'm thinking I can fill I probably won't be able to get it up to 100% but what I will get to a hundred Probably, which I can start next turn, is a naval invasion of Eastern Aleutians. Because I don't think it needs a lot of uh, tonnage to be completed. And that might be the case with Southern Alaska as well. Venezuela used to be my ally. French Guiana. I passed up on a lot of conquest missions to take this. So apparently the Americans went and got it, but now it looks like my army in Suriname can also take it. Anyway, let's do cruiser on cruiser. Freya versus uh, Helena. So range 27 kilometers. I've got range to that. What's your range? 8.318. Okay, I can safely get quite a bit closer. But I don't want to get inside of the range of those... Uh, 8 inch guns. Because they're probably just gonna burn me. There we go. And what's interesting is the 5.1 inch guns have longer range than the uh, main guns. strayed to within their range. They're not firing though. Well, let's go with AP. I can pen 6.7 inches at 20,000. That's 
not really amazing. But apparently I can pan and flood. is nice because now I'm pretty sure they uh, are slower than me I know their basic top speed is a couple knots faster but with that amount of flooding it's probably sub 30 knots Yeah, let's see. Yeah, 27.3. And they are firing back now. 9.3 main belts. There we go, some engine damage as well. Down to 18.4. Now I'll go to auto. Yeah, HE is the choice at belt armor on this was 7.2 inches okay I think this ship is a little bit aft heavy <laughs> just a little bit Torpedo detonation. And of course, it's hard for me to cause any more flooding of like the central citadel uh, region. Especially at this angle. Guess I can try and, uh, and catch up. Because, um, yeah, all the main guns are mounted forwards. It's just the secondaries pointing back. Five inch turrets, yeah, they're not that well armored either. Corda to Picric Acid three. Why has this uh, ship not exploded? This, uh, in this case, I wish I had more HE ammo. Some more flooding. Might that be enough? 
Oh, they fixed it. Yeah, those five inch guns are not to be underestimated. There we go, that should be enough. Just sink already. No, I think they've got it controlled. For some reason, none of those 5 inch guns have exploded yet. That was enough. Had to be. Yeah, it was. Alright. Not bad taking on a uh, heavy cruiser more than twice as expensive. And probably at least a decade uh, younger. So these Cormoran class uh, heavy cruisers were last refit in 1932. But they were built before that. We have one more battle to fight, and it's uh, it's a DD fight. One of mine, four of the Mexicans. Oh, Atlanta class. I can't withdraw from it either. Okay, let's fight. Okay, so let's get my stuff organized. You are mine. And these two uh, groups of two are Mexicans. We've been spotted. Oh yeah, the 22 class is um, actually slower than the 33s. Does put, uh, let's see, should I did? Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna detach 22 so it doesn't slow down uh, its division. And the 33 can join up with those two. Thirty-three fourteen is uh, is of course mine. So it's a little bit less expendable than the uh, the Mexican ships. But 
There we go, that must be a light cruiser. Which does not carry torpedoes. But it's got a lot of guns. we even launch at this guy? Uh, we don't have the range. And I see torpedoes coming in from uh, the enemy DDs. No, 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 stop doing that. Uh, couldn't you have just continued on straight. And now you're gonna die, probably. And this took a... mine took a DD... Uh, took a torpedo. Because I was watching somewhere else. Okay, I'll just run away. So, what I'm kind of trying to do is to just burn this uh, light cruiser down. Guns on that guy. I guess it's too late now. It already got its fires under control. burn a ship down, you kind of just have to uh, <laughs> keep the HE spam going continuously. Uh, this might do it. They can just keep firing. I want to be invisible. Maybe. Or is it just going so fast it's hard to hit? No, we are uh, getting those rounds on target. Uh, it's hiding in smoke.
think we're just gonna have to uh, disengage. If I had a light cruiser of my own with me, I would still be able to spot it. And my DDs could keep firing and get those uh, fires to be, uh, well, sink it by extensive fire. But as long as it can hide in the smoke like that, that's like really not an option. Because the fires get interrupted. Even with, um, I think this has Generation 2 radar. Yeah. Even with Gen 2 radar, the DDs just don't have enough. Uh, spotting range to see the cruiser in the smoke without getting so close that they just get uh, deleted by all of those 5.4 inch guns Okay, so that was it for September of 1946. And it's a good thing that things are uh, kind of happening at a pace in the campaign now where one turn makes for multiple episodes rather than one episode containing multiple turns of uh, not much happening. So that's nice. Look at all these submarines. Whom are they fighting? Spain. Yeah, next campaign, definitely gonna use the balance mod, so... Uh, don't have to deal with the submarine spam. Which... It's not so much that it's hard to counter, it's just kind of boring and, uh, and the AI is just not doing itself any favors by just spamming submarines. Let's look at what happened to China back when they were still around in the campaign. Submarine, uh, <laughs> submarine spam just didn't, uh, didn't do much for them. At least 360 submarines sunk for the cost of what one light cruiser yeah not very not worth it but that's it for this episode we're gonna go to October next time and see what happens goodbye and take care <laughs>